This week, Apple launched its Mac App Store, a desktop version of the popular marketplace iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch users have been using for years now. Only this time, instead of mobile apps, the Mac App Store will focus on desktop applications. Right now, you know, having just downloaded and played, played around with it, so far it seems as though the App Store is separate um, compared to the iTunes App Store. But the experience is very much the same. Um, navigating is very much the same. The way the applications are categorized is very much the same. Um, so I, I do envision a day when the desktop app store will be unified with the rest of the iTunes app store. So, so far we played around with Chopper 2, which is a desktop version of a popular iPhone, iOS uh, mobile game. We've also played around with Aperture, which is a photo editing tool that's popular from Apple. Um, it's priced $80, which is significantly less than two, the $200 price range it's normally marketed at. While Aperture is probably about $120 less, we've also come across other games or other applications that are surprisingly more. Bejeweled 3, for instance, which just came out, um, is priced at $20, which is pretty absurd considering um, Bejeweled 2 Blitz for the iPhone is $0.99. Cents. It's really interesting to look at sort of this arbitrary pay scale that Apple has implemented. Desktop obviously being the most expensive, iPad being in between, iPhone being the cheapest.